live from Victory Church in Lakeland, Florida. We celebrate the outstanding students and teachers in the art of video production and film. With over 5,000 students and 110 schools, Polk County Television Production sets the standard for creative excellence. Join us as we honor our talented video editors, writers, and on-screen talent who bring their ideas to life. This year's ceremony is made possible by generous donations from Safari Montage, Classlink, Lightspeed, Smiley's Audiovisual Incorporated, Victory Church, Bomar Trophy Shop, and Men's Warehouse. Welcome to the 30th Annual Video Awards. Introducing your marshals for the evening. Gloria Godunio from Medulla and Madison Monsdeoka from Chain of Lakes. And now, please welcome your host, Kaylin Keyes from Davenport School of the Arts and Hannah McGowan from Chain of Lakes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 30th Annual Video Awards Ceremony. Prepare to be amazed by a dazzling display of professional videos created by our own Polk County Public School students. Tonight, we celebrate 31 years of student achievement in television production. From cameramen and editors to writers and on-screen talent, each one of you is a winner. All of our entries confirm that Polk County Public School students are the best in the country. Throughout the history of our video awards competition, we've received over 10,000 entries, recognized more than 100,000 students, and inspired a countless number of professional careers, both inside and outside of the television field. Before we introduce our keynote speaker, we would like to honor the ITV Students of the Year. The students are nominated by their ITV teacher and peers. Students of the Year, please rise to be recognized. Instructional television program is a life-changing opportunity for the students in Polk County and certainly changed the life of this year's guest speaker, who knew what he wanted to do for a living after seeing just one Shark Zoom broadcast as a sixth grader at Lake Gibson Middle School. In 2006, he was honored as the ITV County Student of the Year. In 2010, he graduated from Southeastern University with a dual degree in broadcasting and film studies, and in 2018 earned his MFA in digital cinema production. This year's guest speaker has experienced ITV from every angle, first as a student, then as an ITV employee and workshop instructor, and most recently as the founder and advisor of Kathleen High School's Ignition TV from 2010 to 2019. He currently serves as the broadcast producer for the city of Lakeland. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Andrew Gash. Well, good evening. Now, as a teacher, as a teacher for nine years, I can't say good evening without asking for it to be a bit better. Good evening. Some of, you, some of you are probably wondering right now what this is. This is an iPad and it's a magnetic teleprompter. And by showing you that, about all the teachers in the room are going to call ITV after the awards and ask them where you can get one. Because that's what ITV teachers do. TV teachers do. You know, we covet technology. And when we see one, we're, oh, I got to have that. So, you know, it's a good time to confess it. Well, thank you to Caitlin. Thank you, Hannah. They are amazing, aren't they? They're like... They're like this tall and they have more talent than all of us. It's not quite fair. But anyway, you know, seriously, it, it is wonderful to be here tonight and back together again, back together in this place. Now kids, I can tell you what every adult in the room has thought at some point this evening, and that's this, where was this when I was in school? Right? Am I, how many of you have thought that? Because. This is incredible for elementary. 
I didn't get this when I was in elementary school. I mean, I was in this program, but not this young. As they told you in the introduction, I was a sixth grader when I saw the shark zone on that little TV. I had moved with my family from California to Florida, an hour outside of Hollywood, California is where I came from, to Polk County, Florida. Now you'd think that California would have the best, right? And I didn't expect anything like this in Polk County, Florida. So there I am sitting in this little classroom as an intimidated little sixth grader, and I look up on, the, uh, on this TV in the room. Usually it just showed the clock that was bouncing and we'd wait for it to hit the corner. But one day I looked up and there it was, the shark zone, a student produced news show. And I was amazed, I was amazed. And it's right here in Polk County. And the graphics on this thing, they were amazing. I was a techie, so I wanted to make graphics. Now later I learned that the graphics actually were coming from a little VHS tape that had graphics on it, but that's okay. It still inspired me to make graphics. I'm sorry, I just realized, okay, a VHS tape is, <laughs> well, I'll tell you about it later. Anyway, the point is, I was an ITV student for six years, two years in middle school, seventh and eighth grade, and then I worked for ITV for four years, you heard that, and then I got to be a teacher at ITV for, for nine years wonderful times. So as you heard in the introduction, I like to say that I've heard ITV or seen ITV from pretty much every angle. But there's actually three different vantage points here tonight from which I have not seen ITV. I've never seen ITV as an elementary student. <laughs> I've never seen ITV from the perspective of a parent with a kid in ITV, at least not yet. And I've not seen ITV from the perspective of a school administrator or county leadership. And I'd like to take just a moment to talk to those uh, three different vantage points tonight. First, to the administrators in the room, the school board members, uh, county leadership, when's the last time that you saw so many young, creative, talented individuals gathered together in one room? probably at the 2019 Video Awards. It's true. Your being here tonight is so incredibly special and so meaningful because it means that you're supporting this program. So thank you. ITV is one of the most special, unique, life-changing programs ever to be created. And what you have here is something that can't be quantified or qualified with an exam or a rubric or a certification. It is much, much more than that. The experience that this program has, it prepares students for their future. And I'm not talking about just a future in media. I'm talking about communicating ideas, designing products, working in a team, presenting information, making deadlines sometimes. These are skills for life. So I want to encourage you to do everything in your power to strengthen this program, to support the incredible team who manage ITV, and to keep this opportunity alive for generations to come. Now, kids, I'd like to ask you to do me a favor and give a big round of applause to the parents and family who are here tonight. Because you know what? ITV is why I got up and went to school in the morning. It's why a lot of my students got up and went to school in the morning. They, oh, ITV, fifth period, and sixth period, and seventh period. Some of them filled the senior year with ITV. <laughs> to the parents in the room, my parents, just like you, knew and recognized the importance of this program. They saw the skills that it was teaching me, the doors that it could unlock. And just like you, they were always more nervous for me on the night of the video awards than I was for myself. They would sit there and, you know, they came every year when I was a student. They came every year when I was a teacher. They would sit there behind all the students that I'd gathered with Kathleen High School. I'm an adult now, right? My parents are still there. And they'd look at me and they'd say, we want to be here tonight and we don't want to be here tonight because we're so nervous for you and we'd rather just have you tell us about it later. 
but it meant so much to have them with me, to support me as a student and then to support me even as an adult. They're sitting right there. They're still here. <laughs> Hi, Mom. But I'm serious, and, and that's... The, and actually, this is probably the first the word ceremony where you can just sit back and relax, right? So that's nice. The point is that your being here tonight to support the kids, to support your children, to support their teacher, to support their team is also incredibly special. So thank you. Finally, kids, students, writers, directors, reporters, anchors, graphic operators, I don't even know that I can name them all. I can't wait to see what you've created tonight. Tonight's celebration can't possibly showcase all of your work, but you know, I'd like to congratulate you on just making it this far. For those of you, how many of you, this is your first time at, at one of these ceremonies? Yeah, there's a lot of people, so you may not even know how this works. Let me explain. Being nominated, no, I'll explain it. Let me do it. Being nominated, being nominated means that, and this is like the, the nominees are, and they, they read the names, right? That means that those entries achieved 80% or more of the guidelines that are prescribed for that category. 80%. And then after the winner is announced, you're going to see another list of, of entries on the screen. Those are the outstanding nominees. Those are all the entries that achieved 70% or more of the industry guidelines. What does that mean? You see, this is not... These entries aren't on the screen because a judge thought, oh, well, that's cute. Oh, isn't that nice? No, these are on the screen because these students have created quality products judged against industry standards, and they're no more than fifth graders. It's not fair. I've taught college students who are not as prepared as you are at this age to go into the industry and you're already the one that your parents go to when they don't know how to use their smartphone. So just imagine where you're gonna be if you keep this up. As you heard in the introduction, I'm currently the broadcast producer for the city of Lakeland. That's an opportunity that I first heard of because I volunteered to work along with the person who had that job when I was in high school. And then many years later when he retired, he called me up and said, hey, are you interested? I have the job I have now for the city of Lakeland because I was in ITV, because I was ready and learning these skills and could move into this industry. So, you got a lot more years to go. You have a lot more to learn, but you're already so talented. Every day, however, is a new opportunity to be successful. I'm gonna say that part again, because it's really important, and if you remember anything else tonight, besides you know all the winners and all that stuff, Remember this, every day is a new opportunity to be successful. Say that with me, ready? Every day is a new opportunity to be successful. So no matter how tonight goes, get up tomorrow, keep at it. Tonight is just a stepping stone to what's next. Now there's a lot more I could say, and trust me, ITV gave me a time limit that I've gone over. So in closing, I can't leave without acknowledging the teachers in the room and just say this. I'm here tonight because I had a great teacher. Wendy Setterberg at Lake Gibson Middle School was the one who accepted that little scared sixth grader who was so enamored by the graphics on the TV in the corner of the room. And she changed my life. So teachers, what you're doing is changing lives. And the effect that you have is far greater than you'll ever know. It's an honor to be with you tonight. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Mr. Gash for your dedication to video production and the students of Polk County Public Schools. Now, without further ado, let's move on to the awards. Akira Kurosawa once said, it is the power of memory that gives rise to the power of imagination. This year's filmmakers use their imagination to give their audience insight into the writer's world. These short films brought that world to life and showed the true talent of each student. Here are the nominees for Best Short Film. Davenport School of the Arts, The Happy Clown. 
Southwest, a victim of forces. Crystal Lake, being a nice friend. Lincoln Avenue Academy, be the kind one. Chain of Lakes, coal after hours. Lothman Oaks, teamwork equals touchdowns. Now presenting the award for best short film, Athens Sap from Spessard L. Holland. And this year's ITV award goes to... A Victim of Forces. This is Southwest's sixth win for short film. We saw the student reading, a great example of an object staying at rest unless another force acted on it. The same is true for an object in motion. An object in motion will stay in motion unless another force acts on it. She got a great push to start her moving. And even when Amy's hands stop moving, the lower half of her is still moving forward until a new force acts on her. Gravity. When gravity overcomes the push that started her moving, Amy's feet swing back down and then she's ready to stick the landing. We've seen lots of forces affecting Amy today. Right. Pushes, pulls, friction, gravity, inertia, phew. I think she might rewrite. That is a lot. See, I am a victim of forces, but aren't we all? Thank you so much. We had a great time making this video. We love getting to play the role of scientists as we played this film. We want to thank Mrs. Kerr for listening to our ideas and helping create such a fun and educational video. Congratulations, Southwest Elementary. Unfortunately, due to time constraints, we are unable to show the full-length versions of our winning entries. However, tomorrow morning, you can access them in their entirety on the ITV YouTube channel. Dr. David Yates started the television production program as a way to spread academic knowledge through a more exciting medium. Each year, we challenge our students to enhance academics within the school through video. This year, our students went above and beyond to reinforce academic standards in our classrooms. Here are the nominees for Best Instructional Academic Video. Walkman Oaks, help, it's a homophone. Southwest, the adventures of weathering and erosion. Philip O'Brien, skip counting. Medalla, the life cycle of a pineapple. Crystal Lake, our solar system. Now presenting the award for best instructional academic video, Grace Ager from Philip O'Brien. And the ITV award goes to Southwest Elementary. This is Southwest's second win for instructional academic video. 
In a world full of calamities and danger, humans need superheroes more than ever. There are superheroes who keep our world moving and changing in some pretty amazing ways. Let's meet one of them, Wendy Weathering. I'm Wendy Weathering and I love to break things down. I wear weight and change landforms, break down rocks into smaller pieces, and power the rock life form. My superpowers of physical, chemical, and biological weathering can crush a boulder into soil and wear away the face of time. Wendy Weathering is an amazing force in our world, but her powers become ever stronger when combined with the strengths of her best friend, Erin Erosion. I'm Erin Erosion and I love to move weather materials around. My superpowers of wind, water, and glacial ice take the messes my partner makes and create them Thank you so much. This video was the most fun to make. I never imagined we could make such a huge mess and teach science at the same time. I enjoyed getting to be windy weathering and smashing a cake was so fun. I would like to thank Mrs. Care for finding us so many things to smash. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you to our families for all your help in making this video happen. Congratulations, Southwest Elementary. There's a video you can absolutely be proud of. Spike Jones once said that doing a documentary is about discovering, being open, learning, and following curiosity. From politics to local and worldwide issues, our documentary submissions this year featured subjects that were both intense and interesting. Here are the nominees for Best Documentary. Crystal Lake, Our Lunch Heroes Are Here. Belisita, Hispanic Heritage Month, Focus on Costa Rica. Madulla, A Dog is a Man's Best Friend. Davenport School of the Arts, Kids Pack. Southwest, Cold Nose, Warm Heart, a documentary. Loftman Oaks, Indiana Dorsey and the Rock Tumbler. Lincoln Avenue Academy, following Martin. Now presenting the award for best documentary, Claire Hughes from Loftman Oaks. And the award goes to... Meldula Elementary. This is Medela's first win for documentary. Hi, I'm Kevin, and this is Katiri. Service dogs are important, helpful dogs. Today we are going to show you just how helpful they can be. Hearing dogs are one of the many types of service dogs. The dogs are trained to listen for important sounds. Labradors and Golden Retrievers are examples of dogs that make excellent service dogs. Guide dogs help people who are blind or can't see very well. Guide dogs listen for directions from their owner. Mobility assistance dogs are a type of service dog that helps people in wheelchairs. They help them by getting things they cannot reach. We hope you learned something new about service dogs. Hi, explorers. I'm Kevin. I'm here with Ms. William to talk about candy. What type of service dog do you have? Well, Kevin, that's a really interesting question because candy is actually not a service dog. Candy is a therapy dog. The difference between a service dog and a therapy dog is that a service Thank you. Making this documentary was a lot of fun. Congratulations, Medella Elementary School. 
Most of us choose which TV show or movie to watch based on the actors. But the actors are just a small part of a much larger crew that is required to produce the show. We honor the technical skills needed to add the basics and the spice to our videos with our technical mastery category. Without script writers, cinematographers, sound and lighting technicians, editors, and special effects artists, the movies and TV shows we watch would not be made. This category recognizes the commitment to excellence of those who work behind the scenes to make movie magic happen. Here are the nominees for Best Technical Mastery. Philip O'Brien, Sight Words Around School. Southwest, a victim of forces. Lofman Oaks, who's being safe online? Crystal Lake, let's have fun with your AR accomplishment. Now presenting the award for best technical mastery, Millie Campbell from Medela. And the ITV award goes to... Southwest Elementary. This is Southwest's third win for technical mastery. Our friend Amy is really ready to struggle with us this week. Cause yesterday she said, I am a victim of forces beyond my control. We said, let's be scientific about this. Let's place some hidden cameras around campus to see if we can catch these so-called forces in action. Let's be clear on what a force is. A force is a push or a pull. A pull is a force moving towards you. A push is a force moving away from you. Can we all see the problem here? Why won't you just pull the door? Now she's got it. Once she figured out the right direction to apply the force in, she did just fine. That reminds me, the more mass an object has, the more force it takes to get it moving. Oh look, Amy's having issues with forces again. Thank you so much for this award. This video was extra exciting because of all the special effects and Lego animation it had. Good job, team. Thanks to Bryce and Braston for their Lego animation. Thanks to Mrs. Care for teaching us, it, us edit, editing tricks. And thanks to our families for helping us practice our lines. What a technical masterpiece, Southwest Elementary School. Congratulations. And now, in his first attendance of video awards, it is our pleasure to introduce the superintendent of Polk County Schools, Mr. Frederick Hyde. Good evening, everyone. This is incredibly impressive. You were given a lot of accolades earlier, but I tell you, I have attended countless award ceremonies, graduations. I've spoken publicly at countless events. I have never been more nervous than I am right now uh, because these, these students are doing an amazing job. I I'm going to ask you here for a moment, though. Please put your hands together and thank Mr. Ekman and the Bartow ITV Band. I wish we had a sofa back here. We could just kind of do a Tonight Show type theme. Um, what an amazing accomplishment. And for those of you, the parents in the audience, and we joked about this earlier when we had to remind people what about what a VHS tape is. Students, you will never know the joy of a cassette tape that unravels and having to put a pen or pencil in one end and twisting it. You have missed out on so much of your childhood because of that. But think about where we've come. Parents in the audience, do you remember when TVs and cable television first became accessible to our classrooms. 
We had these big, huge, hulking TVs that were either strapped on a, on a mount in the corner of the room, and we were all, always terrified that they were going to fall over on someone, or we had these huge TV carts. And think about how far we've come. We started from just announcing morning news and giving our students an opportunity to really celebrate and get engaged in a new potential career pathway without them even knowing that that was the option, opportunity they were getting. They were putting together sets and they were putting together scripts every morning to read because we were sick and tired of the principal making the same announcements every morning and reading the pledge out loud to all of us. And so students, I just want you to reflect. As you look forward and as you get older, you will reflect back to today and you'll be impressed by how far we've evolved and technology has come. As I sit here and I watch what you've accomplished, it is absolutely incredible. And so regardless of whether or not you are a winner or you're a nominee or you're someone else being recognized for your commitment to excellence, you have done an absolute amazing job because I could not have accomplished at your age what you're accomplishing now. And it's truly impressive. As the science teacher, I will tell you that my heart is singing right now because almost every video thus far has had a science theme. And for that group of students in school, please know it's not going unnoticed. You will be tapped to create a whole series of instructional videos for our school district moving forward. That's, that's what happens when you are successful at something. But I want to thank you all for being here tonight. It's been two years. The pandemic has been hard on all of us, each in our own way. But tonight is an opportunity for us to come back together and in person celebrate and honor the accomplishments of our students and our staff. And what better week than Teacher Appreciation Week to do that. So one last time, if you'll join me in putting your hands together for all of the amazing people who support our students every day. And thank you for joining us at our 30th annual event. Have a great evening. Thank you, Mr. Hyde, for honoring us with those wonderful words. From Harry Potter and Ron Weasley to Mario and Luigi, duos come in all shapes and sizes. These popular teams work so well together, it's almost as if one could not survive without the other. Our announcing teams must also work together to not only give us the news, but to do it in an engaging and entertaining way. This is no small task. It takes hours of preparation and practice, but our students meet the challenge head on and succeed every day. Nominees, when your name is called, please come down to the front of the stage to, to be recognized. Now, let's meet the nominees for Best Announcing Team. Lofman Oaks, Haley Ramirez and Shayla Jones. Crystal Lake, Jocelyn James and Zoe Williams. Philip O'Brien, Reagan Daly and Isabella Kershon. Lincoln Avenue Academy, Aria Patel and Mason Schwarzwalder. Chain of Lakes, Hannah McGowan and Madison Mons de Oca. Davenport School of the Arts, Bradley Westfall and McLean Donnelly. Southwest, Serenity Bradley and Amy Crane. Now presenting the award for Best Announcing Team, Amy Crane from Southwest. Please give a round of applause for our best announcing teens. <laughs> Loftman Oaks Elementary. <laughs> With Shayla Jones and Haley Ramirez. Win for announcing team. Good morning, Owls. Today is Friday, October 29th. As you can see, today is a wonderful TGIF. I had so much fun at the Fall Festival yesterday. Speaking of PBIS, let's find out who today's red coat, <coughs> sorry, I mean, red shirt winners are. Shayla, did you know that the first Halloween was celebrated over 2000? May I? Sure. Thanks. Over 2,000 years ago in Europe? Wow, I had no idea. 
there was a festival called Samhain on the last day of summer, October 31st. Wow, I ran down. Thank you so much for choosing my video for this award. I had so much fun making it with my partner. Congratulations, Lofman Oaks Elementary, for an outstanding entry with excellent teamwork. Television news has come a long way in the past 82 years. What was an hour-long national news show, dominated by a single male announcer, has blossomed into countless hours of daily local news programming with a diverse cast of news personalities. And leading those news shows are talented female announcers whose authenticity and integrity shines bright. Let's see who our next superstar will be. Nominees, when your name is called, please come down to the front of the stage to be recognized. Now, let's meet the nominees for Best Female Announcer. Blake Academy, Elena Butler. Crystal Lake, Kaylin Edwards. Chain of Lakes, Cadence Brown. Lofman Oaks, Dahlia Bertatius. Citrus Ridge Academy, Emma Fisher. Philip O'Brien, Grace Ager. Lincoln Avenue Academy, Mia Broughton. Spessard L. Holland, Athens Sapp. Davenport School of the Arts, Kaylin Keyes. Southwest, Amy Crane. Now presenting the award for Best Female Announcer, Harley Taylor from Lincoln Avenue Academy. Please give a round of applause for our Best Female Announcers. TV award goes to Davenport School of the Arts. This is Davenport School of the Arts, third win for female announcer. Good morning, and you're watching the Davenport Daily News Show. Today, Chloe's cooking something real good in the kitchen while Dr. Davenport goes down to the surgery floor, and Emily's kicking off a real good service project. Ready, set, here we go! Studies show that it takes 21 days to form a habit. Here's Aria with a really good habit. Habit number one. Guess what? It's time for the ball book bear. Here's Jax. It's gonna be epic. Do you ever feel like you're gonna blow your top? Here's proactive versus reactive. I'm glad I didn't have to clean up the studio after that. And now, here's the spy cam. Have a great weekend. I am so I'm so honored. I would like to thank my ITV teacher, Ms. Wilmoth, and my classmates for believing in me and supporting me. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Kaylin will be signing autographs after the show. Five dollars in the lobby. Get them while they're hot. In television news, male announcers must either be Uber professional with perfect diction or have a wonderfully hilarious sense of humor. Our male nominees tonight have the perfect mixture of both humor and professionalism that will surely steal your heart. Nominees, when your name is called, please come down to the front of the stage to be recognized. Now, let's meet the nominees for best male announcer. Crystal Lake. Jeremiah Giles. Southwest, Carlo Lopez. Lofman Oaks, Dorsey Inkle. 
Citrus Ridge Academy, Adrian Turner. Davenport School of the Arts, Terrence Davenport. Blake Academy, Ethan Hollis. Spessard L. Holland, Houston Harrison. Lincoln Avenue Academy, John Berrios. Chain of Lakes, Vinnie Trank. Now presenting the award for Best Male Announcer, Riley Leonard from Davenport School of the Arts. You got this. Go, go, go. Please give a round of applause for our best male announcers. Loffman Oaks Elementary. This is Loffman Oaks' sixth win for male announcer. Hey, Owls, look at this amazing gemstone I just found. You can find gemstones like these hidden in the soil or in fields. They are created by the process of weathering and erosion. This long process normally takes thousands of years. Lucky for you guys, we have a way to speed it up. Come on, let me show you the rock tumbler in the media center. This is my rock polisher. We're gonna take these boring, disgusting rocks and turn them into these beautiful, shining gems. This machine right here is gonna speed up the process of weathering, which usually takes a long time. Weathering is the process of being worn down over time by wind, water, and contact with other rocks. Over thousands of <laughs> Thank you so much. Obviously, I am not Dorsey, um, but I am one of his several ITV teachers, and fortunately, he was unable to come tonight. But I can't wait to give him this tomorrow. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Dorsey, for showing us all how it's done. And now it's time for one of my favorite categories of the evening. From Michael Jackson's Thriller to Taylor Swift's Shake It Off, music videos have ingrained themselves into American music culture. This soon-to-be-lost art is not only unique in design, but difficult to master even at the professional level. A school earning distinction in, in this category means that they are ready to take on the pros with their creativity and technical abilities. Here are the nominees for Best Music Video. Davenport School of the Arts, You Are the Reason. Chain of Lakes, Ottertown. Crystal Lake, Our Solar System. Southwest, Speak Up. Lothman Oaks, Homophone Hunch. Now presenting the award for Best Music Video, Jocelyn James from Crystal Lake. And the ITV reward goes to Southwest Elementary. This is Southwest's fourth win for music video. I want to 
thank the ITV department for re recognizing us in this video. It was fun and exciting to encourage people to speak up for themselves. My favorite part was the glow stick scene. I would like to thank Serenity and Amy for helping me thank for helping me make this possible. And Miss Care for giving me the opportunity opportunity to do this. And I want to thank Miss Matthewson for helping me with my vocals. And, and don't, don't forget, forget to speak, speak up. up. Good job. <laughs> Congratulations, Southwest Elementary. That music video definitely popped. And now it's time for our next category. In that case, question, this category make us out of exceptions, laughter, sadness, comprehension, confusion, belief, doubt, security. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? What do you mean? I'm listing the side effects of the commercial category. Commercials always have to list the side effects. That's not what that means. Anyway, while we sort this out, here are the nominees for best commercial. Loffman Oaks, Who's Being Safe Online. Southwest, Picture Day Superheroes. Philip O'Brien, Come to the Media Center. Crystal Lake, Let's Have Fun with AR Accomplishment. Davenport School of the Arts, Space Night. Medulla, Medulla Book Swap is Out of This World. Citrus Ridge Academy, Step Up and Clean Up. Chain of Lakes, Winter Academic Night. Now presenting the award for Best Commercial, Ryan Essegear from Citrus Ridge Civics Academy and Leanna Deese from Chain of Lakes. And the ITV award goes to... Southwest Elementary. This is Southwest's third win for commercial. Super Spur Superheroes, very soon you have the opportunity for either an epic success or an epic disaster. Picture Day is October 14th. Are you prepared? You can't just roll up that day and think awesomeness will occur to you without proper preparation. Do you think greatness just happens by accident? Nope, not gonna happen. You can do this, people. Now let's get ready. Step one, pick out your favorite school uniform. Step two, decide how you will wear your hair. And most important, practice your Picture Day smile. Here's where some almost superheroes failed to complete the mission. Don't put on a fake smile. Or glare at the camera trying to look tough. Save that for when you're trying to save the world. It's only a camera, not an atomic neutralizer ray. Think a happy thought, like pizza or puppies. Ice cream, extra video game time, or world peace. It's coming soon, Super Spurs. Be ready. We would like to give a special thanks to the ITV department for recognizing our video. This commercial was so much fun for us because we actually felt like we were actually teaching a classroom full of superheroes. We would like to thank our fifth grade team who created this video. And thanks to Ms. Care for all of her help. Congratulations, Southwest Elementary School. Throughout the night, you've seen some of the elements that make up a school's daily news show. All of these aspects come together to create a more engaging platform for students and staff to stay informed about the school, the community, and current events. Those of us in ITV know the devotion and sacrifice needed to make this program not just happen, but be the best in the country. This next category is one way that we honor your daily dedication to your schools. Now, we'll announce the nominees for Superior Daily News Show. Teachers, when you hear your school called, select a student and come down to the front of the stage.
Citrus Ridge Academy, Crystal Lake, Southwest, Lofman Oaks, Medulla, Chain of Lakes, Philip O'Brien, Spessard L. Holland, Blake Academy, Davenport School of the Arts, Lincoln Avenue Academy. Now presenting the awards for Best Daily News Show, Elena Butler from Blake Academy and Yasim Alauta from Bellacita Elementary. Please give a round of applause for our Best Daily News Shows. We will now announce the news show scoring between 90 and 100 points. Here are the superior daily news shows. Lofman Oaks Elementary. Southwest Elementary. As our schools make their way back to their seats, please refer to the screens for our excellent daily news shows. Congratulations to all of our winning schools, and thank you for what you do to unite our campuses. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause to Mr. John Ekman and the Bartow High School Jazz Band for their outstanding performance this evening. As y'all know, it takes a great deal of hard work and dedication to get a television production program off the ground. That's why we created the Michael Robertson Most Improved Award. This award goes to the school who made the most progress from the previous year. When you hear your name called, please come to the front of the stage to be recognized to receive your award. And Presenting the this Michael award. Robertson Most Improved Elementary School program is Lincoln Avenue Academy. Our most distinguished honor of the evening, named after the creator of the video awards, is the Dr. David Gates Best in Show Award. At this time, we would like to welcome the creator of the video awards, Dr. David Yates, to announce our winners. The Best in Show for Elementary Schools in the 2022 Polk County Public Schools Video Awards is Southwest Elementary School. Congratulations, Jen Kerr and the Southwest Elementary School ITV students. Thank you so much. This is all of my team. They are small but mighty. We've worked really hard this year. I put a lot of pressure on these guys when it was 
the time to get things done and I could not be more proud of them. I couldn't be more grateful for the support that their families have given us and that their parents have provided making sure costumes and lines were learned and everybody was in the right place. So thank you so much. Good job, guys. Thank you, Dr. Yates, and congratulations to all of our winning schools. We hope you had a wonderful evening. Schools who earned an outstanding or better in any category will receive their certificate in the courier within the next week. And schools that won best in a category will have their certificates and trophies delivered to your schools within the next week as well. We will see you next year at the 31st Polk County Video Awards. Good night. And thanks for watching.